This is an ABC 10 News update. Hello there, I'm Virginia Cha with this ABC 10 News update. Some new information about a gun violence restraining order issued against the husband of missing Chula Vista mother Maya Miliete. The restraining order shows Larry Miliete owns nearly two dozen firearms. Some police say are illegal assault weapons, others unregistered guns. Back in January, Miliete reportedly told officers he knew they were coming for his weapons and that he gave multiple firearms to his friends. 18 of the firearms are still outstanding. A hearing is scheduled on the restraining order. Miliete will be given a chance to oppose it. A big push to get more younger people vaccinated. The county setting its sights on teenagers by offering vaccinations at several schools this week. The pop up sites are in neighborhoods that have the lowest vaccination rates. Right now, teenagers 16 and older can get the Pfizer vaccine, but this week that could change because Pfizer is expected to receive emergency use authorization for their vaccine for kids as young as ages 12 to 15. Until then, health officials are hoping these clinics will encourage people to get vaccinated. Well, prices at the pump already rising. The average price for a gallon of regular up six cents in the last two weeks to just over three dollars a gallon nationwide. Now, according to the Lundberg survey, the average price per gallon is a dollar five cents higher than this time last year. The highest price in the country is in the San Francisco area at 416 a gallon, but that is not much higher than the average here, which is 413 a gallon. Let's talk to Megan Perry about this forecast today, which I think is going to be nice, Megan, huh? It is going to be another nice day, a little cooler than it was yesterday. Clouds this morning will take a little bit longer to clear. In fact, some years along our coast may only see uneven or partial clearing before the clouds roll right back in as we head into this evening. 60s for the coast and mountains, 70s inland with 90s in the deserts. We'll see faster and better clearing as we head forward through the rest of the work week with temperatures warming anywhere from 2 to 10 degrees by Wednesday. And then we'll see slower clearing and a bit of a cool down heading into the weekend. Virginia. Thank you, Megan. For the latest news, weather and traffic, just go to 10news.com or you can download our free app from your app store. For ABC 10 News, I'm Virginia Shaw.